I think what it basically is for me, the quantum consultation is a, a type of communication beyond time and space where um, if there's any part or dimension of ourselves that's like the cover, like, that looks like the cover of the book of Breaking Normal, like that maybe we're in a self-imposed prison without being aware of it or conscious of it, um, I think this is an opportunity for us to bring awareness to that and illuminate it and therefore giving us the keys to that potential jail, that jail that's now in the past. So if you have anything like that you think... At this point in my life, I mean, you know, things are actually really great. You know, I read your book because it's just super interesting. I've been following you for a while. Um, and recently I've been dating this girl. And, I mean, at this point in my life, I'm pretty grounded with everything. You know, I've never been as confident as I am. And, well, the girl I'm dating right now, she's, she's awesome. She's great. Like, you know, I'm having a great time with her. She's a beautiful person. But she has a lot of, like, self-conscious issues that I used to go through when I was younger. So I try to influence a lot of positivity into her, but sometimes I feel like, I mean, I've been uh, applying what you, you said in your book about listening. I'm listening a lot more than talking. I usually, like, ran on and just keep talking without listening. But um, I feel like I can't relate to a lot of these things. Sometimes I waste my energy trying to get points across, and I don't know how to deal with people that have, like, I guess, body image issues to another level, you know, that I can't relate to, I guess. Well, first of all, I, I would see, I'm happy to hear how you feel healthier and more balanced and more grounded than ever. Uh, looking at you online led me to believe that, like, you were a very healthy, grounded, yeah. awesome, like, all-star. And for your, uh, I can understand the frustration that you're alluding to in the sense of, like, some, say if it's my sister or a girlfriend um, not even a, I'm married, but like not even a girl that I'm dating, just a friend that's a girl. And yeah, I understand if I'm hearing this correctly, like the frustration of like, what? Like you're insecure about your ankles or what? You're insecure about your hair or you're in, what is that really? Like what? To me, that's a distraction from something bigger. And, um, what I think it's, what I think it's reflecting is some sort of way that you might have a lack of patience with yourself. Like it almost sounds as if like boredom. Under that boredom and under the impatience, there probably lies a frustration. And what I'm guessing that frustration is indicative of, uh, what frustration has been indicative of to me in the past, is that like I'm not sharing my, I wasn't, I was not. I was not sharing my gift fully. I wasn't fully showing up. I was sort of, um, it would almost be like, imagine surfing. Do you surf by any chance? Yeah, I, I try to surf as much as I can. Perfect, perfect. So I realized um, after about a decade of surfing now and wanting other people to experience the majesticness of surfing, like I really want them to because it's one of the greatest activities I've ever done. And sometimes I almost feel like this isn't fair. This, I don't know if this is fair, like that I'm out there surfing these amazing waves, having this amazing time, and I don't even know how to relate to people. I don't even know how to share how amazing this was. And I got, especially got frustrated if I was like trying to teach someone how to surf, um, and it almost felt like they, it, they were putting me in danger. Like by paddling the same speed as they were, and by trying to be with them as they were learning, it was actually putting me in danger and them in danger. Um, and I learn, I realize about myself, I'm not a surf instructor. I'm happy to surf with people once they're ready to surf at this, a similar level to me so we can just both go have fun together. But for me to babysit someone surfing or me to teach someone surfing is not within my capacity. And when I give beyond my capacity, when I give beyond that, I kind of make the receiver a thief. So... I don't know how this applies to your girlfriend necessarily. Somewhat applies. I mean, I, I get that. What I'm thinking is like if your girlfriend really, or whoever it is, whoever it is, a friend, a sister, is really hung up on things that you feel are elementary or beyond your capacity, it might not be for you to help her with that. It might be, that might be for her girlfriends, her and her girlfriends. That might be for her and her sister. That might be for her and her mom. It might not be for something for you to hold your, her hand through. I think we all show up for, uh, differently for different people. 
And just as I can go surfing with a certain group of people, maybe I wouldn't want to go out um, on a night in the town with them because I would be babysitting them. So I understand the frust like how that can be frustrating, but I think the best thing to do is be as radically honest as possible with your girlfriend about your frustration. Just like keep illuminating what you're frustrated about. Keep, if, it's, if, you, if you're judging her to be insecure, if you're judging her to be distracted by small things, whatever it is, I would share that as challenging or as scary as that might sound, to share that with, with her as much, as, with an open heart immediately. Like the, the building up of that, I think can really distance y'all. But if you're upfront with it about the beginning, like, man, I'm frustrated. Like, are you really insecure about your hair? Are you really insecure about the way your legs look? I love your legs. What in the heavens is going on that I think she will realize that she gets to figure this out maybe without you. Maybe this is her own journey. This part of her journey is something she gets to figure out alone. Just as when I'm surfing, that's something that my wife is not involved with. That's like my own hero's journey. So... I, I mean, I, is there anything else? Like, I, I, I'm happy to like explore this out loud. I don't have a direct answer except yeah. to really be upfront about your frustration. And I think the more upfront you are with her about it, the more you'll realize why are you frustrated about it. It might start bringing up certain things for you. Why are you lacking patience in this realm? Because sometimes how like the smallest things, how we handle the smallest things, are indicative of how we handle everything. So maybe this patience, maybe by you learning how to be more patient with your girlfriend or letting her have her own space and her own time with these insecurities or whatever it might be, and the more you might be patient with yourself and something totally different. True. No, I get that completely. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I try to, I don't know, be the best I can to like, you know, show her that it doesn't have to be the way she thinks. And I mean, she's trying. I get that. Just being patient is best thing I can do at this point but I know I don't have I'm not the driving force behind her getting over her insecurities or whatever and I bet some in some ways of what you sh you're in some way I'm not sure if it's direct or metaphorical whatever you're getting frustrated about with her and her journey I have a feeling it's reflective of some way that maybe it's frustrating for you like what is it in your life that's taking you longer than necessary to figure out is there something that you know is just right at your fingertips but you haven't grabbed it yet I guess, I mean, I have my own frustrations as well. I mean, you know, not being, you know, up to par with what I want to be or what I want to Is there something specific or is it just a general? Just mostly general at this point, you know, like I'm taking things slow, like little by little. I'm about to graduate. I'm, I'm not in a rush to graduate. And but I'm getting as much as experience, work experience as I can. And at this point, I'm pretty grounded than I was like five months ago to say. But um, I have that frustration, I guess, lingering in the back that maybe I won't, you know, end up doing what I want to do. Or what is it that you want to do or be passionate about? We have a minute left. I want to get to this. I feel like we're getting something good here. I don't know. I guess at the core of it, what makes me, you know, feel the happiest is helping others. As much as I have, like my, you know, like as much as I love surfing, that's like one of my passions. I can't do it as much here. But one thing I love more than that is seeing others, like sharing that with them. So it's like, I guess, channeling like my energy to helping others. And sometimes, it's what I've found in some realms, that the best way I can help someone is not to tell them anything, but for me to completely embody it. Like sometimes our retreats, I've heard from multiple people that what they learn the most from me is just by watching me, not even by what I say. It's like by what I'm doing consistently. Like, wow, this guy really is spending a lot of time in cold water. Wow, this guy's really spending a lot of time breathing. He's not even telling me to do any of it. But by them watching me, it seems like that's sometimes more powerful than anything I can say. And then I was also going to, a little side note, a lot of the times when you were telling me things, you were kind of nodding your head no, which I think is indicative of maybe some sort of underlying frustration or lack of patience. And that goes the call at 11-11, what do you know? Um, so although maybe we didn't necessarily, I, I, like, I didn't feel like, oh, that's exactly what it was. Maybe that this will, it maybe, like, maybe it'll hit tomorrow. Maybe it'll hit tonight in your sleep. Maybe it'll never happen. Maybe ne we'll never get clear on this. And that maybe your underlying frustration, that continuous frustration, is what's going to drive you forward to be the best version of yourself and to love the frustration. If like, that little frustration, that little situation, like, 
a lot of times people's biggest problems are their biggest opportunities. And it was, it's what drives them for, forward to embody their full heroic self. Um, yeah, wow. That was just another epic quantum consultation. If you're watching this for the first time or you don't know what these are about, I'm basically doing 11 minute quantum consultations. I'm committed to doing 111 with people that have sent me a screenshot of their review of Breaking Normal, which is a book I currently published right after this one was born. So it's very, it's fresh off the press. I would recommend it mostly on Audible, but you can get it on Kindle and print on Amazon. Send me a screenshot of your review and wow, let's listen to each other like ninjas next. Talk to you soon, peace. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run.